Alright, so if you guys know, I just finished watching Gundam Seed Freedom again, and wow, it's still a good movie. So even watching the second time, I still really enjoy the movie. But to be fair, um, I'm going to say this. My rating definitely went down. So last time I said it was like a 9 or 10 out of 10, but I'm going to have to give it an 8 now. Now, 8 is still pretty good. To be honest, in my book, an eight out of ten of a movie is still pretty solid. Um, the only reason why, though, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, is that well, overall, like it felt rushed. It felt like a really rushed movie, and I felt like <laughs> I was trying to figure out what was going on in the movie because I was just like, I even watched the first time, I was so hyped about everything. And don't get me wrong, it's still a great movie, but. At the same time, I just didn't know what was going on. I was like, what is going on in this movie? What's the plot? And, like, what are we actually, like, what is the purpose of all this? And there's a guy named, like, Michael or something like that. And I don't know what his deal was, but apparently he didn't exist. Just, I, I don't know. It was just, like, kind of mind-boggled. And I kind of got the gist of what was going on in the movie. Like, in terms of just, like, the whole theme, right, is, like, love. And you're supposed to choose your own destiny and blah, blah, blah. But... I, I just felt really rushed. It felt like a really rushed movie, but it was still great. I mean, obviously, because it was probably the last scene. And that's what Gundam Seed is really good at. Gundam Seed is really good at making a really good climactic, like, ending. Or, I guess, in terms of epic final showdown. They're really good at that. And Gundam Seed Freedom definitely does that for this movie. And as mentioned last time, you know, this paid homage to, you know, Shin, our character, Still love him, and he's still a great character, still the best. So, overall, <clears throat> I think Shin is still redeemed. And again, I want to say maybe it's not really, a, it is a love letter, but I also want to add it is a apology letter too to Gun and Seed fans. So, overall, I mean, it was still a great movie. I still really enjoyed it for what it was. Like, um, again, it's just the animation was amazing. Uh, the mobile suits was cool. A lot of good callbacks. So again, I I would call that a really good movie overall. Um, but again, overall, like I would have to lower it down a little. But eight is still good in my book, and I still really enjoyed it. Um, so overall, still a great movie. Still really loved it. Um, trying to think what else is there. Obviously, you know the character voice acting is great. A little cheesy. A lot of people kind of complain about the cheesiness, but honestly, that's what make get. That's kind of what make. Gundam Seed so great is the cheesiness like it's super cheesy but that's kind of what Gundam Seed is it's uh it's it's cheesy um I, I loved it so overall still a great movie still loved it overall um <clears throat> so anyways back to kind of what we were though but there's a lot of cool announcements that happened today and I kind of want to go over some of it so the first thing we want to go over is the the, the the new HCs are coming out for Gun Seed Freedom. We are getting the Gion Storm, which is Hilda's version. As you can see here, Hilda's right here. This is uh you know, she's pretty awesome in the series. Um so this is gonna be a P Bandai. And I didn't like the Gion because I don't like Agnes. I don't think a lot of people like Agnes. I didn't for sure. So for me I was kinda like meh, but I'm okay with Hilda's though. I like Hilda's. But I probably won't get this though, because I don't know, Gion's kinda like whatever's to me in this one. Um, <clears throat> so that was a cool announcement. Um, the next one is right here. This is the, so this was actually a huge surprise. This is the, the Akuski RG. And holy crap, this is bright as shit. <laughs> it's brighter than my future. And this is the, I want to say the Shiwari or the Owashi version. So this is the one with the Kagali pilots and it's gold as heck. It looks great on, you know, paper. So far, you can tell it's like a little bit of dust on there, but yeah, this thing is bright as heck. Now, here's the problem: a lot of people are worried. Uh, I did never own the Strike Gundam in, uh, I guess, in the RG series, but a lot of people are concerned it's going to be the Strike Gundam 1.0, which I heard it had some pretty negative reviews. So it's not that great. Uh, I didn't have any good reviews on it. Um, it was just poorly bad. For the most part so um <clears throat> so overall like everyone's praying that's supposed to be the strike 2.0 or something like that where the 2.0 kind of has a little more wiggle room or i guess like it's supposed to be better right so everyone's praying that's gonna be the 2.0 hopefully a better mold i guess overall so 
hopefully that's the case with the uh, the Akatsuki. But besides that, I'm very excited for it, which also means it might be a metal build Akatsuki, which I am all for. I love my metal builds, so I'll probably grab the Akatsuki metal build for sure. So yeah, anyways, that one's pretty sick, so that's, I'm all for it. And of course, let's go through here. We have the MGSD Wing Zero Custom. This is bulky. This thing is sick. I am all for this. I want to get it. Uh, the Wing Zero is pretty awesome. I know it's super played out, but this is really cute and it's really detailed. So I'm really excited for more photos of it for sure. <coughs> um, next, we have, of course, we have uh, Witchful Mercury, which I don't think a lot of people care too much, but Nika is going to be a figure standard rise. So I'm just going to skip over that. Luna, also figure rise. Uh, Luna Maria is an amazing character. I really like her a lot. I really liked her in the uh, Seed Freedom movie too. So this is nice. And of course, this is another image of the RG Akatsuki. Kind of what we talked about. Um, yeah, again, you can see how shiny this thing is. Super, super bright. But it really just looks like, you know, it's strike gun for the most part. Oh, here's a good one. So this was a fun announcement. The HG Destiny Gundam spec 2 with the zeus uh set now this is awesome because we've been all waiting for a you know destiny spec 2 and i think we were all kind of like kind of played on it like we want to see it so you know we want this to happen um <clears throat> the one thing though i'm a little concerned two things hopefully the vfin is not a sticker <laughs> i mean obviously it's not but the joke is that like a tall geese was used for a sticker so people were saying that there might be a sticker for the VFN just to change the color. But I don't think it is. But that would be funny, though, if it was. Um, of course, you see the Zeus set right here. It's massive. Huge. Looks great, though. Now, the one thing I'm also concerned is that do you get that weapon set? So if you don't know, uh, the Spec 2 has a long rifle with it, too. So I really hope they're just not copy and pasting. It looks like they are. But it's probably going to be a P Bandai where they're going to have the rifle separately. Or I guess if you just buy, I think it's the gel goog or this, or is it the, um, what do you call that? The impulse uh, spec two. You would just have to take that weapon and just put it on the destiny gun, which I guess it kind of makes sense. But this looks fantastic. I'm getting this for sure. 100% getting it. Definitely, definitely getting this. So that's great. And, oh, here we go. Here's some more images here without the video. Yeah, posing overall is pretty good. I mean, you know, it looks pretty nice for the most part. But again, I don't know. But here we go. Zagok. This one is super exciting. This is the Zagok Freedom version. And <clears throat> let me go on. I think it's Delty's. Let me go find Delty. Delty has all the good stuff. Delty, Delty, Delty. Uh, shout out to Delty for posting this. So we're going to go down. Ooh, what is this? I was going to say, is this for... Oh, that's Kamen Rider. I thought it was like something else. Oh, here we go. So here's the... Perfect time modders to use for oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? No way. Uh oh, uh, here we go. Zagok. Now here's a fun thing about it. It looks like this is actually gonna be molding with the infinite justice. So I don't know if it's just a gimmick, but it'd be cool if you can actually fit in there. That would be pretty nice. But it looks cool. I mean overall I think it's a really cool little gimmick. I think it's cool. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get this. This thing is super cute, and I think it's freaking awesome. So, I'm definitely getting Zagok for sure on that. Um, of course, the Murasami Kai. This is actually really neat. Uh, I never really cared for her, but this looks super neat. I'm kind of interested in looking more into it. So, can't wait for that. Um, let's go now. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, a little cough here. Nope, I think that's pretty much it. So, yeah, again, it was really exciting. The movie, again, Gundam Seed Freedom, definitely need to watch it if you haven't watched it. And I guess all these new excitements for the kits are very exciting as well. So I'm very excited. So I hope you guys are too. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, I was watching that.